Labatt, man! <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of $20 Chef. A lot of people are doing the mask down low, but you're forgetting about the upstairs. Plus, I'm at home, and I need my mouth to be free so I can sip on the best beer in the land, Labatt Blue. Big shout out to Facebook ads. <laughs> they get you with some bullshit. I wish I could scroll other people's Facebook and Instagram feeds to see what, so I could see what Facebook and Instagram is trying to sell them. Cause all I get are like ninja pants and weird beanies, dude. All right, listen, here's the deal. I want to go to Taco Bell, no free ads, but fuck going to Taco Bell. Today, I don't feel like going to a fast food restaurant, but I want what they have. So what am I making today? I'll tell you. I'm gonna make me a little something called the Crunchwrap Capri. No free ads, fuck those fools. This is a very fast recipe. All we really have to do is cook the beef. So let's season it up. All right, listen, I'm always gonna put a little oil in the pan, you know, treat your pan right. You know, stay lubed up, kid. Let's head over to our station. I love having a station. I don't know why it feels so good to have a station. There's something about the word station that I like. Cops get to use it. Down with the station. You know, uh, cooks get to use it. Dude, get to your station. How about this? Where's the trail? I gotta get out of here. I got shit to do. I gotta be, I gotta head to the train station. This is my station. I landed here, okay? All right, I'm going with my own spices. A little bit of chili powder. A little smoked paprika. A little cayenne. Oh, glass bottle. And it broke. All right, fuck cayenne. Let's go with Cuban instead, dude. A little salt, a little pepper. Let's cook some ground beef. All right, meat's in, let's cook it down. Always want some onion in my ground beef. Probably should have threw this in first, but guess what? Had a few bong rippers, here we are. Let's mix that up a little bit. Got full of flavor here, our meat's gonna be real nice. Smelling delicious, the cumin, the chili powder, definitely not the cayenne. I, I'm tired of car alarms, guys. Think about it a lot, dude. You just sit there, right, right, right. I look at the car, it's like a 1996 Honda Accord two-door. What are you guys doing, man? Listen, if your car is older than 2003, you don't need a car alarm. What's the worst that could happen? Somebody can do you a favor? You want, you, you coming out of your apartment that you pay too much for, go to a job you probably don't even want to be at, you look up and the piece of shit car you don't even like driving is gone? Wow, what a nice guy they were to steal that shit. If your car is over 2003, stop with the car alarm. No one's gonna steal your shit, okay? And if they are, they're doing you a favor. All right, let's shred up some lettuce. My favorite part, I just love lettuce. I know it sounds dumb. It's always my thing. Cut up some little tomato here. All right. Okay, so I'm warming up some nacho cheese. I'm not making fresh nacho cheese, eat a bowl of shit. I got a jar of it and I'm eating it up. All right, this makes me think. I'll tell you what, a lot of people posting glow up photos on the internet. Hot glow ups, I wish I could post a nice glow up. Nobody has a better glow up than the caterpillar. How nice would that be? You're just some bitch ass caterpillar getting picked on by younger bitch ass caterpillars. And then one day you just pop out and you're just like this floating ass, deliciously beautiful, elegant little thing. Looking down at all those fat caterpillar haters and shit like, eat a bowl of shit, kid. I'm going to get some pollen or whatever the fuck they eat. All right, man your battle stations. Plus open your tortillas. Listen, I spent an extra few bucks on the big Ziploc, so I open up shit like this. So I'm ready to store these after I'm done. I think buying Ziploc bags is a very adult thing to do. If you're a dude with no lady and you find yourself putting leftovers and shit in Ziploc bags, you're responsible. I bet you have a checking and a savings account. All right, get the big guy first. Coming in hot with some ground beef. Crunch wrap Capri City. Look at that. Uh, let's get a little cheese in there. Now, this might qualify as experience if I ever want to get a job at a fast food restaurant. Tostada. Now, I couldn't find a tostada, but I, I did find hard crispy shells. So that's my move today. All right, get your spoon. Sour Cream City right here. Paint it up nice. A little bit of this shredded cheese. A little tomato. Lettuce. This is like building your own toys if you were a kid and Santa's like, yo, fuck Santa Claus, I wanna make my own toys. Last, smaller tortilla. Now wrap away, wrap away. Look at that, Crunch Wrap Supreme City, dude. All right, let's put this guy in the, on, the, on the burner. A couple minutes each side, might brown her up nice. All right, flip it over. Look at that, oh, uh -huh, kid. I gotta fix that fold a little better, I think, but hey, what are you gonna do, you know? I mean, I don't work at Taco Bell. I wish I worked there when I was younger. I could have used the free tacos all day, but my technique's not flawless yet. 
Let's go. Wham, kid. There's the first one. Number two. Crunch wrap Capreme, kid. All right, let's get a nice little cut here. See what's happening. You know what I mean? There we go. Look at that. The secret's out of the bag, Taco Hell. We got this. You know what I mean? The only thing better is at home, I get to wash it down with one of the best beers on the planet, Labatt Blue. Go grab yourself some tortillas, a couple of tostada shells, some lettuce, tomato, ground beef, nacho cheese, and sour cream. You got work to do, homie. That's this episode of $20 Chef. See you guys Friday.